Okay, you guys, it is Friday night. You probably ain't got nothing to do, so get you some wine, get your hookah, or do whatever you need to do. Work on some work. I don't know, but I bought this from the local sex store, even though my daughter was like, I thought only strippers went there. Well, I do too, and I would have been a stripper if I didn't ruin my body with y'all. Now, let me stop, but we're going to do some questions from here tonight, and I heard through the grapevine on Instagram that y'all paying people to teach you how to ride. Baby, I will teach you how to ride for free tonight. For free. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, what's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice. Let me show you this cute sweatshirt I got, though. Ain't this cute? I got it from Target. Target. Let's get into this. More extreme personal questions break all boundaries. So let's see. Y'all can get into my business tonight. So I got a few cards. Let's get into it. Okay. What was the meanest thing someone has said to you after SEX? Oh my God. You know what? Not after, but the meanest thing was my ex-boyfriend. You know what he told me during, mind you, he took me on a shopping spree. We went shopping. He literally told me during XEX, after he took me and let me get whatever I wanted from there, which I got a lot of candles, he gonna say, I don't love you. And I said, excuse me, I don't love you. Excuse me again. He said it for the third time. Y'all, he was on top. I was on bottom. I, ba, 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 I ain't lying. I am not lying. I fought him, okay? Get the f off of me. Are you serious? Y'all, I was just... He, you got me fucked up. How dare you? You take me shopping, then you say some disrespectful shit. That was the end. That was just the beginning to the end. Other sh was the, the beginning to the end. But I'm telling you, the meanest thing. When I think about it, y'all... I'd be ready to fight this fool. I'd be ready to fight him. It make me want to cry. Like, I can't believe it, okay? He told me, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. You said it three times. I verified before I started punching you in your chest. What are you talking about? And I'm in my most vulnerable, like, butt naked? No, you got me fucked up. And we too damn old to be playing these games, okay? Baby, and he was an alcoholic. It was a hot mess. I should have never never been with him okay don't take it from an old bitch don't do that dumb shit okay listen i was hot do you hear me if you could eliminate one thing from the world what would it be and why well guns because they just it's violent it's it's just done a lot of people would be alive if it wasn't for guns seriously a lot of people would be alive if it was not for guns I'm just saying, like, I am so against it. When I was a kid, because I grew up in California with my mom, when I was the only child before this heifer came back to Kansas, because there ain't nothing to do here. She had four more kids. But anyways, that's a later story. I couldn't even have a water gun. Like, my mom was just, like, not into it at all. So I don't play them games either. I just, I, my kids ain't ever own, like, no fake gun, no play play gun. We just don't. No, but I, if I could, I would. I know it's like a catch-22 because if somebody breaks in your house, how are you going to defend yourself? You might have to go get a butcher knife, okay? Them scissors where you can cut through bone, you might have to get one of those. I don't know, shank a fool. I don't know, but I just hate that anybody in the world can get guns. Like, imagine how many people could be alive right now if we didn't have goddamn guns here, period, okay? Um... What would you ask for if your toilet offered you three bathroom related wishes? Oh, in my bathroom, let me have three wishes. Let me think. Clean itself. Clean yourself, fool. The whole bathroom. Just clean yourself. That would be my first wish. And then you know what? I would want my toilet to wipe my ass. <laughs> Just do it for me. Just do it for me. I don't want to do it. Just do it for me. And what's the other one? What would be the other wish that I would have the bathroom do for me? Um, soon as I like a voice activated, run me a hot shower, run me a bath. Okay, period. Clean it, wipe my ass, <laughs> and uh, 
Run me a shower or a bath whenever I speak it, okay? Even if I think it, you better run me one nice and hot, okay? And if it's a bath, put my uh, salt in there, put my bubble bath in there. I want bubbles every goddamn where. That's what I would want, okay? So, what would y'all wish if y'all bathroom could give you a wish? Now, my little lover that I be with, he got a warm toilet seat, baby, and it's cold. Whoo, I could stay on that toilet seat all day. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this next question. What would you do if 5,000 dildos, if you, okay, what would you do if 5,000 dildos, if you inheritor, inherited them? F who has 5,000 dildos? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I wouldn't want them because are they used or brand new? And if they brand new, I'm just going to have a giveaway and give them to people. Girl, do you want one? You get a dildo. You get a dildo. We all get dildos, but we need to know. Oh, and you inherited. So that means they might be used. Throw them in the goddamn trash. Don't nobody want no used dildo. What, did she keep it clean? Or was she one of them girls? Like, I don't know. What is the dumbest thing you ever said during sex? I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you. Oh, I love you. No, it's like, I love that dick. Not you, but that dick. That's what I love all the time, every time. I will say, I love you, and it's the dumbest thing I ever said, okay? Because usually it ain't a love thing. It's a lust thing, okay? Let's see. What scares you the most about your future? What scares me the most about my future is being still in the same spot within a year from now. So literally still being in healthcare. I don't want to be in healthcare. That scares me a year from now. Like, I just feel like standing still. I, I, that's what scares me. Like no movement in my life. It's just been the same. I need movement in my life constantly. I do not want to be in the same position within a year or five years from now, or when I turn 40, I don't want to be in the same position. I feel like that's what scares me or like, not going after my dreams, not because I'm too scared to go after my dreams. I'm too scared. So I stay in this box. That's what scares me the most about the future is no movement. We all know people, if it's your mom, dad, aunt, cousins, like even friends, you're just like, damn, you have no movement. You're too scared to go after your dreams. You talk about them. That's what scares me about the future. What's going, okay, excuse me, sorry. What was going on the last time you experienced an unusual discharge? Excuse me. Now, this is just too damn personal, okay? It says, I don't even know if y'all can see that. Unusual discharge? Excuse me. <laughs> now, you don't took it too damn far, okay? If I get an unusual discharge, that lover is getting a goddamn phone call, okay? Anyway, so on to the next one. What event led up to the last time you you were slapped? What events led up to the last time you were slapped? Let me tell you. I can tell you exactly the last time I got slapped. I was 17 years old, pregnant with my oldest daughter, and me and my mama was getting into a girl. We was getting into it. I was like, you know what? You should have had an abortion. And baby, she slapped a taste out my mouth. I was like, oh. <gasps> That's the last time I got slapped. My mama slapped the tape. I don't even know if she came back with the backhand, but oh my, I probably had a handprint on my face. My mama was a hot baby. That's the last time I got slapped. And you know what? I deserved it. I did. I'm not even gonna sit here in front like I didn't deserve to get slapped up out of. I did, okay? That was so disrespectful, okay? What is the oddest action you have done involving your butt? Letting somebody put their finger up <laughs> without any lube or not spitting on it. I hate that. Don't surprise me, fool. Tell me what the fuck you doing before you put it there. Period. You spit on it, lick on it, put some lube on it before you spit, and I'm riding. The boy, you, you're you going to throw my vibe off and my rhythm. Don't do that. That's the honest thing I done did with my butt. And that's just period. I, I don't mind it. You just got to announce yourself first. That's just period. Announce your goddamn self before you do it so crazy like that to Jay Shanice. Okay. What were you most often teased about as a child? My teeth. 
my teeth were terrible, okay? I got teased about it so bad. I'm so glad I have braces on now because I had um, overcrowding. So that's teeth. Like I had my canines. I don't have my canines. They were up in my gums, y'all, like up in the roof of my gums. They had to pull those out. Um, I had teeth behind, like behind here, the bottom teeth. I had two teeth behind there because they didn't have, they couldn't fit. There wasn't enough room because they said my mouth is so small and I had a lot of teeth. So like, I don't have as many teeth as people have in their mouth because I didn't have the room. So the biggest thing, because my mama couldn't afford it. She was a single mom of, you know, like I said, five of us. Well, really, as I was growing up, three of us, but she didn't work like a good job or whatever. She didn't really know about the programs to get cheap braces. So people would always tease me about that. And guys would always be like, you're a pretty girl, but your grill is like for real. Like, I'm not lying to y'all. Like I always got that compliment. Like, oh, you're a pretty girl, but your mouth is, it's just, but it's like, I hate that kids tease people about like their teeth or something. This is something we're born with. Like we didn't get to choose wherever we came from to be like, Hey, can I get a perfect set of teeth? Because people gonna clown me and I can't deal. Like I was so embarrassed. I started talking like to cover those two teeth in the bottom. So sometimes like I was talking to my daughter's dad and he's like, I don't remember you having those teeth. I did because I would cover it. So my tongue would be indented. But once I got some insurance a few years back, I went to the oral surgeon and he snatched them out for me because there was no reason for them to even be there. There was nowhere for them to go. So yeah, I had some jacked up teeth. If you had a magic touch that turned items into turn turnips, what would you touch? Nothing. Oh God, what the fuck? I don't even eat that. Is a turnip a, a vegetable? I don't eat that shit. I don't even hardly eat vegetables. I'm terrible. Anyways, what is your favorite story or situation where someone licked you? Oh baby, <laughs> lick me anywhere. Just don't lick me in the ear because like I get swimmer's ear. Please don't be licking me. And I'm not a puppy. I don't need you to clean me. Don't be licking me in my ears, but you can lick me anywhere else. Okay, period. Lick me down there. Lick me here. Oh, here, baby. Mm, that's my favorite spot. That'll get me going. If I ain't going, you go there, I'm going. I'm ready to go right now. Oh, I'm ready to go right now. I'm serious. Okay. If the little angel and devil was on your shoulder and wanted to party, what would you do with them and why? We would go party. We would go kick it. I, the devil, you're going to really get in some trouble, okay? You might end up in jail mess with the devil on your shoulder. The angel going to kind of keep you in check. Like, girl, you done had too many drinks. You keep uh, backing that ass up. You're going to throw your back out. You was a woman of a certain age. Quit playing. You already know. <laughs> so, whatever. I don't care. I got a, I got a good side and a bad side. I think everybody does. I don't be even be trying to be perfect. I think the older I done got, I don't really give a fuck about being perfect or whatever. I grew up in the church and it just like, I don't hate the church, but I grew up in the church and I felt like it was a box. Like, I don't want to be in a box. I don't want to be in the corner. I don't want to be all those things y'all told me to be. I just want to be me. Okay. What in, inappropriate places have you had an orgasm at? I don't know a car that's not that's not inappropriate at school that's probably that is probably inappropriate <laughs> I mean back in the days baby the next question is what happened on your worst date ever y'all okay I'm gonna tell you we went down to the Applebee's this was like years ago me and this dude my friend was dating his homeboy and then he came into town so we went on a date Y'all, why did I get diarrhea? The boy ended up having to spend the night because this was before Uber and Lyft and all that. He had to spend the night on the couch because my stomach was hurting. I had got food poisoning down at the Applebee's. Y'all, my stomach was hurting bad. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I wish I could take you home, but I can't. I was so embarrassed. I was in the bathroom all night taking Pepto. He's like, are you all right? Are you okay? I'm like, I'll be okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. Embarrassing. Down at the Applebee, 
Applebee's. Me and Applebee's ain't had a good relationship since then. Don't play with me, Applebee's. Not at all, baby. What happened the last time you told a friend to fuck off? I'm going to tell you. Me and my best friend from high school, like me and her go way back. She ended up doing some prison time, you know, in our 20s. And recently, like I would say maybe a year ago, because I haven't talked to her in like a year. She told me I was the reason she went to prison. I said, you got me fucked up. I was at home with a baby. Okay. I had a baby when we were 18. What do you mean? Are you fucking serious? I was like, get the fuck on. Get the fuck on. I'm not playing with you. You, What you're not going to do is blame me for you getting locked up. <laughs> I was not with you when you was doing all the dirt you was doing. I was stuck at home with my daughter. Get the fuck out of here. So we hadn't talked since then. Because you're not going to blame me for something you probably should blame yourself and your fucking parents for. Okay? So we ain't talked since then. And I don't think we ever will. What keeps you up late at night when you can't sleep? When I'm horny. I'll be up. I'll be like, baby, I got to get off. Period. I got to get off. That's what keeps me up late at night. Woo. I answered a few questions. We can do this next time if y'all want. Now let's talk about this. I hope y'all is not paying people to teach you how to ride. Listen, when I was younger, I didn't even know you could work a dude from the bottom. I used to just lay there. One time me and my ex-fiance was getting it on. This is like when I was in my 20s. He's like, why are you laying there like a dead corpse? <laughs> I said, what? I guess I was just laying there taking it. You can't have good if you lay in there taking it. You can work a man from the from the bottom, okay? You can't. Even you can put your feet in his chest. I'm not lying. Put your feet up like this. But listen, I can teach you how to ride. But the only thing about teaching you how to ride is that what size are we working with? Because you can't do certain moves if a man ain't got enough, okay? You can't do certain moves because if he ain't got enough, you can't go too high up. And you can't, you listen, you're going to have to stay close, close to the bottom. Now, let me see if I can adjust this camera because y'all ain't going to be able to see me do the stuff. So I'm going to show you because I don't know what's going on and why you girls can't ride. But the one position you don't want to do if you ain't been to the gym in a long time, I keep trying to do it. But don't do it because if you ain't been to the gym, it's going to burn. So it's this one where you is up on your feet and you doing this, baby, up, down, up, down, baby. <laughs> you better be ready. And you can't really go up that much. You got to kind of go, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what he working with, you got to kind of go whoop, ooh, whoop, whoo. And you can't do that because you're going to feel the burn, baby, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Let me tell you. Let's take it down. Let's take it down so y'all can see. So you up, up. You can hold on to him. Up, up. Like this. You can hold on either way. Either way. They always like it. Now, my favorite go-to position, sometimes I like to have one leg, one leg up, knee down. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see it. Knee down. Okay? Up. Up. Because then you can rest that knee. <laughs> that, this knee can take all your damn weight off of this leg. Okay? Up. Down. I'm just telling you. But, 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 but. If you lazy, that's okay. <laughs> Get on your knees. Okay? Get on your knees. Rest. Boop. Boom. Boom. Ain't no need to uh let it burn. He gonna get off regardless, okay? You just up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Use him if you just like, ooh, your thigh still burning? That's okay. That's okay. Just a little bit, okay? Now, now, let me tell you something. If you wanna do reverse cowgirl, reverse cowgirl is a little different because he got to have enough for you to reverse cowgirl on anything, okay? Because if he ain't got enough for you to go up, because some people don't got enough. Let's just, let's keep it real. Some people ain't got enough for you to be doing all these moves. Because you go up too high, it's going to slip out. It ain't because you wet, wet. It's because he ain't got enough, enough, okay? Now, reverse cowgirl, I like to lay down. I'm a lazy, listen, when it comes to me, I'm going to get you off. But listen, <laughs> reverse cowgirl, it's the same position. You still on your knees. You just, listen. 
close his legs. Don't let his legs be open. Close them damn legs, okay? This is what I do. Let me show you. Let me show you. I lay down. Boop, boop, boop. Because you're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. Sometimes I lay there. Girl, I'm lazy. Oh, oh, <laughs> bitch lazy. Pop, 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 pop. Because you know what? They like to see it. They like to see the ass bounce, you know? And if you, listen, if he hitting it from the back, don't lay there. Don't just take it, okay? But don't let him go too deep. If he got a nice one, do not let him go too deep because it's going to hurt. But then you can arch that back, you know? Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Okay. Period. I'm like, what you want? What you want? What you want? <laughs> that get him going every time, girl. Let me tell you. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. But when he, you be like, oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> don't let him do that. They get too excited sometimes. You got to be like, boy, you better go on. You better go on. But I like to be fully on my stomach. But let me tell you another thing. When you, I'm telling you, girl, when you on your back, let me see if I can show you, showing y'all all my bedroom and my bed is squeaky because I need to tighten it. When you on your back and he on top, put your feet up on his chest, honey, on his chest and catch his rhythm. And sometimes what I like to do, if I'm just like, Lee! I like to rub his nip. Girl, I like to rub his nipples. Girl, they can't handle that. Now, I did they do that didn't have nipples. So, if they ain't got no nipples, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that, honey. If he ain't got none, you can't rub him. <laughs> but if he do, you better rub him. He'll go fucking crazy. Because I, listen. And plus, also, that position <laughs> that makes your thighs burn. This one. Okay, this one, they just love to see it going in and out, baby. Bah, bah, bah. They love that, baby. I'm just telling you. I could give y'all some more. Bitch already out of breath. <laughs> Bitch already out of breath, honey. But listen, don't be a pillow princess. Just because you got a pretty face, you're going to have to put in some work, honey. You're going to have to put in some work, Okay. But, like I said, ride on your knees, okay? And, girl, you might have to lay on him, too. Because I like to lay on them, in a sense. What am I trying to say? Like, I'm not going to just be, like, riding like this all the time now. But if he's like, listen, bitch, get it. Girl, I'll wink my eye. Hey, hey, oh, oh, okay? But... If um, you're riding, sometimes you can just lay on them and then pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. I'm telling you, they go crazy. And if you got one that can work it from the bottom, baby, it's a oh, game out of there. You're over. You're over. But I like when you close because then they can, okay, you be like, oh, 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 you can't handle this. You can't handle <laughs> I be talking shit, okay? You like it? This is your favorite position? What? 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 Me on top? Me doing all the work? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I like that too. If they working from the bottom, baby. But that frog position, count to 10. By the time you get to 10, you're going to be over. Let him see it going in and out because they love to see that. They freaky asses love to see that. They love to see that. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> This was Adult Night Friday Night with Jay Shanice. Let me know if y'all liked it. If y'all didn't like it, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I will see y'all next week on Friday Night Adult Night with Jay Shanice if y'all want another one. Bye, y'all.